Hello everyone, this is Jimi Hendrix and this is episode 25. Two hard things, provident living on energetic living. You know, my buddy Keith, I gotta say, he was always real keen on telling me to try uh, new things. And one thing I gotta say is, <laughs> that smart man knew exactly what to do. And so, we're going to be talking about doing hard things the provident way. And so, this is another spin-off from Empower uh, Your Pattern. Hope you don't mind. And little insights from uh, Bishop Dave. So, here we go. Okay, guys. I'm here writing with Bishop Dave. We're going to be talking about provident living. Which actually, is in a way, is a king's law. Bishop Dave, how... How can we better show our families a path of self-reliance? Well, I think by living uh, self-reliance. And what does that look like? It looks it looks like living below our means. What you know, living below our means and, and uh, trying our best to uh, prepare for future. Um, it is learning to wait sometimes. Uh, and showing the patience of that, um, showing our families uh, being a part of of this is really important. I think uh, to show our kids, uh, you know what? That's great that you want that bike. It's $150. You've got $25. We're gonna have to wait and save up for it. And um, just the excitement and the patience and the difficulty, all the emotions wrapped up in, in that um, helps helps our children and, and uh, you know, that, that's that's something that we can give. I, I've, I've helped too many people who didn't know how to make a budget or didn't know, you know, they just spend what they have in the bank uh, instead of maybe uh, figuring out and budgeting things. Uh, so it's it's really important to learn those skills and to teach them to our to our families. You know, Robert Kiyosaki in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad mentions the Robin Hood uh, fallacy and the uh, robbing the rich to take the, 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 the to to give the poor and the talent mentality. Bishop Dave, what do you say about the entitlement mentality our reactive culture has gotten into? Well, it, uh, it's something we have to be careful of. We have to realize and see that we, in, I guess a lot of times when I'm frustrated with something, some policy or something, um, a lot of times I have to point the finger back at me and just, well, what am I going to do about it? Well, if I, um, if I don't have enough money to eat, I have to figure out a way to do that. And a lot of times that means negotiation, talking to people, um, instead of just spending money to uh, and paying for fees, maybe talking down those fees. I mean, that's just one idea, but uh, there's so many different ways that we can uh, negotiate, talk through, and figure out how to uh, live within our means. Now, and I'm sorry, I went a little off topic there, but uh, I think we have done a not the best job uh, with so much new technology we've had a difficult time uh, emotionally and and in a lot of different ways uh, to catch up to the technology and as such a lot of our children and grandchildren are suffering they they uh, have not been taught or they, they don't know how to necessarily digest some of the uh, principles that we've lived always lived by like self-reliance and so entitlement is definitely something that um, there's the haves and the have-nots and, and uh, helping others to understand uh, that we work and we work hard and we try our best and we give it to the Lord Principles of hard work and of helping others. You know, I think about <clears throat> growing up, 
my maternal grandfather. One thing that he said he would say is, you know, <laughs> James, son, I love you. But if you're going to stay with me, you're going to learn to try some new things, all right? <laughs> so that's, it started with Granddad. And then I kind of gave it up. And then 1993, my baby Keith got a hold of me and was like, Oh, for heaven's sake, Jimmy, what, what, what in the world is wrong with you? What in the world is wrong with you? So, problem living is, is a good principle. And, and, and uh, doing hard things is a principle for us to buy into, okay? So, with that, I am going to let you go for now. And until next time, do hard things, live the good life, live the strenuous life. God bless.